Hello everyone. Uh, so today guys, I'm going to be making one skillet chicken adobo. Yes, I'm going to try this. This chicken, I marinated this for a day and I season it with soy sauce, dill sauce, garlic, onions, um, what is this? A little bit of salt and black pepper and and then that two calamansi, which uh, I showed on my other video as well. And then I'm gonna use this rice side of Noor chicken flavor. I'm gonna use that one. So this is gonna be an easy, easy video. Or should I say easy uh, recipe. All right guys, I'm gonna be using my big skillet right here. I added a little bit of oil, just enough to kinda sear my chicken. I'm gonna brown my chicken. Not totally brown, but I'm gonna just sear it a little bit. You know, like what I always do with my one skillet recipe. And then after I brown all the chicken, I'm going to add my uh, rice here, which is this one. You know, cook it on the flavor right here on the skillet. And then add my two cups of water. I forgot to mention, guys, you need two cups of water because the rice needs two cups of water. And that's about it, everyone. And do not throw away the sauce that... <clears throat> Uh, you have on the chicken you know the one that you use for marinating so now guys I'm gonna add some chicken I, I can see that it's getting hot all right everyone I'm gonna start adding chicken this is a whole chicken guys that I just chopped so everyone I'm gonna brown this side for like two to three minutes and then I will flip it and do another two to three minutes on this one all right everyone the chicken are ready to be flipped so I'm gonna flip this I did this guys for uh, three minutes three to four minutes guys not really all the way black brown brown This is how it looks. Alright. So I'm going to put my timer again for uh, 3 minutes everyone. And then I'll, after 3 minutes I'm going to take this out and put another batch. So everyone, this is my last batch of the chicken. After this, guys, I'm going to take this out and put it in the plate. And then put some of the onions and the chicken fat that I have in the marinating sauce. And then I'll add my rice as well. Alright everyone, the timer is up. So now I'm going to take this out and put it in the plate. This is not all the way cooked, guys. But uh, if I'm gonna bake this, this is a different way. This is a new thing for chicken adobo that I'm gonna try, guys. You can see they have bones. I like my chicken bones in with the bones because it tastes really good. All right, guys. I have, as you can see here, I got some onions and some juices. So what I'm gonna do is put the onions in here and some of the fat well 
I have the chicken fat in here guys but I'm not gonna eat it just the flavor so I'm gonna let this um, satay for about two to three minutes guys then I will add my rice all right everyone three minutes is done so now I'm gonna add the rice so remember guys I'm using this rice I'm just gonna guys don't forget to add the sauce from the marinating and then add the water the two cups of water maybe <clears throat> Alright everyone, I'm going to bring this to boil and then when it boils, I'm going to let it boil for uh, 2 minutes and then I'll start adding the chicken. Alright everyone, this has been boiling. I'll let it boil for about 2 minutes guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken. So I'm just going to arrange the chicken. <clears throat> Keep in mind guys, this chicken has been marinating uh, for a day. I let it marinate for a day that way it will soak up all the flavor I'm excited my husband is really excited for this because for some reason guys when I don't measure anything oh my gosh the taste is excellent it's not that my cooking is awful but uh, for some reason it has always a surprise when I don't measure anything it's delicious so still boiling and my oven is ready and this is gonna be brown because uh, I'm gonna broil it for like maybe two minutes just to get that brownish color if you wonder guys why I include the bones in this chicken adobo you know it's pretty much the bone the whole chicken that you chop and then you include the bone as well and it's really really good guys when the bone is in I do a chicken adobo with chicken breasts that don't have any bone every now and then okay so I have one more let me find a space for this Let's squeeze this thing right here and I'm gonna pour the sauce All right, everyone, I'm going to transfer this in the oven and I will bake this for about 20 minutes. I'm going to start with 20 minutes and see if the rice and the chicken is cooked. And if not, I'm going to bake it for about 25 minutes. So I'll be back. All right, everyone, my chicken is done. My one skillet chicken adobo is looking delicious, everyone. I baked this for 25 minutes and after 25 minutes I broiled this for two minutes and uh, that's why I'm getting this beautiful color here so thank you thank you for watching guys this is my other way of cooking the chicken adobo this is the first time I've tried one skillet chicken adobo and I cannot wait to give this a try and for my husband to give this a try Thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and comments down below. And thank you for always uh, watching our video, guys. I will see you all again tomorrow or the next day. Bye, everyone. So, everyone, he's tasting my cooking. This is my professional taster, guys. <coughs> yeah. You're killing the one pot stuff. Really? Yeah, love it. So you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's chicken, then I have a clean diet this week. Because this stuff's good. So thank you guys. I mean, thank you, hubby. <laughs> Real good, baby. Thank Real you. Great taste.